Wow, I did not think I recorded anything at all yesterday. That is, I'm very surprised that I got a vlog out at all. No, that's, that's way too sexual. That might be worse, actually. That might be, that might be a little bit too, a little too, a little too sexy for the internet. That's me, Mr. Anyway, I don't think I recorded anything today. It is weird moving to a different city. Um, a number of people have asked me what I'm doing here, thinking they had missed something. But no, I never explained it. Look at this sweet umbrella I found. I think it really brightens up the room, you know? Adds a pop of accent color. <laughs> I was gonna frame this as like a living in Italy tip, but actually it's more of a general travel tip. Unless you're made of money, your phone is gonna be useful only as a step tracker and maybe like if you save the Google map, that's, that's pretty useful, but other than that, you can't do anything unless you're on Wi-Fi. What's been most useful for me, actually, is carrying around where my phone should be in my pocket, this tiny little black notebook where I've been taking notes down, and writing down, like, words in Italian or the names of stores to look up later. Um, I would definitely recommend replacing your phone with a little notebook if you're going somewhere phone service doesn't exist for, which is basically everywhere that isn't whatever country you're from. Also, coffee's great. It's great, it's a great, it's an A plus invention. And it costs a dollar here. It's not, it's not, not too shabby. I, I found a broken umbrella on the ground. Pop, it's pink, it's very pink. And uh, instead of trying to fix it, that's, that's kind of cool. Um, I hung it up on this hook that I found in the ceiling. <laughs> oh, here's an Italy tip. The internet is really, really slow. And the internet is really, really slow here. Uh, just basically everywhere. And they sell $5 sunglasses that look much nicer than any sunglasses I've ever seen in my entire life. And regular hats. It's the only place I've ever found that actually sells like, you know, a regular, like what you'd think of as a hat. Yeah, they're super mirrored, but they're so nice. Uh, this is because it's really easy to make knockoff sunglasses here because Italy is where like Ray-Ban and all those other guys are based so it's easy to get access to the stuff like um, phone chargers in China that's that's all I got right now uh, yeah I don't know like walking is pretty great I'm having a pretty good time walking I'm always out of focus I'm just always I'm just always gonna be out of focus that's fine I don't care who cares not me Here's a travel tip for you. Feel less lonely when you talk to your friend, the camera. Not the people here aren't nice, it's just, I am not really super outgoing, you know? I started a daily vlog for Christ's sake. What sort of extrovert does that? It seems like a thing an extrovert would do, but it's like mostly sitting at home editing footage about your day to make yourself seem interesting. <laughs> Me, I guess. Me. Also, I feel like I'm really quiet. Was that all like really quiet? I think so. It's because I'm nervous, you know? I get nervous and higher pitched when I'm quiet. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. It's been a lot of like talking. Let's go look at something.
appena un mezzo di una settimana, non ci si fa. E allora invece di continuare a parlare vorrei ringraziare tutti coloro che hanno permesso di presto tornare anche sul volto dei bambini dei paesi terremotati e voglio ringraziare anche altrettanto numerose quanto le rificolone, il che significa che lo spirito antagonista dei fiorentini non si spegnerà per difficoltà. Un applauso. Graziano Grazzini e Paolo Alberto, entrambi da insieme della compagnia dell'articolo, il nostro Pucci, il vicepresidente, il